This is my review of the Shangsho 2x2 mirror cube. You can tell it's a mirror cube because of all the glare that's coming off of it right now. Now, for those of you who don't know what a mirror cube is, it's a shape mod of n by n puzzles. Uh, this is the 2x2 version. I actually have the 3x3 version, also by Shangsho, right here. As you can see, they are the exact same size. What's interesting about this one is uh, it has center orientation because if you look closely, you'll see grain on the stickers. This one has the same grain on the stickers. However, there is no orientation from that uh, because there's only one placement for each piece anyway. And you can't have anything rotated a different way. So this really doesn't have that super cube centers that make it more of a challenge. So more of a challenge. As you might be able to see, the this one has just perfect lines. So there's no, not really any corner cutting. Or reverse corner cutting like there's very little corner cutting and almost no reverse this actually has a tiny florian hole still no corner cutting like don't like reverse but the actual corner cutting is decent like it's a shang shell puzzle but it so you don't really expect much except it's going to be inexpensive and uh, decent quality but i'm actually really happy about this like i wasn't expecting a lot and i actually this is a lot better than I was hoping for it's better than the pure morphix two by two that they have i'm not sure if it's made of the same puzzle i would think it would be but i guess that this one's just probably better because it's easier to handle as you can see it turns really well it's very light and smooth it's it's a little bit clacky it's doesn't really lock up too much uh, the only locks up are caused by misalignment of the puzzle that occurs because there is really not that much corner cutting, but there aren't too many problems. The size of the pieces does kind of affect it. For instance, if I do a T-perm with the smallest layer using this piece and this piece right here, I could usually do it pretty well. However, if I do it trying the opposite end with the biggest pieces, it gets a lot slower because there's more things you have to maneuver around and it just gets weird for how you're placing your hands on the pieces. Now a mirror cube only has one color of sticker, silver. You can kind of see me in the background because it's a really nice reflective silver and they typically have a grain on it. You also will see them in gold or in stickerless plastic. Honestly it doesn't need the stickers, it's all aesthetics. What this basically is is a cube where certain sides are extended whereas and others are shortened so for instance this is 57 millimeters across each end so the top layer whatever it's reduced by the bottom layer gets increased by or you know other way around depending on which one is and it's increased and decreased in different varieties so there's no two pieces alike think of it like uh one side's plus one, the other side's minus one, then there's one side that's plus two, and another side that's minus two, and then one side plus three, the other side minus three, and they are across from each other. As you can see, it's very reflective with that glare. I did actually shut some of the blinds, but I figured I could get some from the side, so we actually could see what I'm filming. Anyway, this is actually one of my favorite shape mods. Like, I do like the mirror cube, just because it's really fun, but this turns better than the mirror cube. It's nice and smooth, it's a little bit clacky, which actually, like it doesn't stop, like you could hear the clackiness of it, but it's not really affecting the turning that much. So, this is just, I'm not going to scramble it right now, but as you can see, this is how the pieces kind of vary with each other. You get... Very tall on one end, very short on the other, but depending on how it's scrambled. I'm actually just going to scramble it up to show you what it looks like. Now this is just interesting because you can't use the centers as a frame of reference. Like you can on the mirror cube. Which makes it a little bit harder to gauge what piece goes where. Fortunately, you can actually use the grain of the puzzles to kind of help. For instance, see how these are all going straight? And it fits together across the side, uh, the size of it. Well, you could kind of use that as a reference point. Whereas 
well, these pieces do it as well. However, if you put this piece right here, you can't really tell if this were the right piece unless you know exactly how much 57 millimeters is. But then again, you could just replace it with a piece of equal size, but it would, you'd be able to see that it's not properly short. But you could use the grain as kind of a way to tell. Now, there's not much else to say, so I might as well do a quick solve of this. I'm not really going to explain how to solve it, but it's pretty much just like a 2x2. Two two. Well, it's actually exactly like a 2x2. Two two. I'm pretty sure I just used... Yep, I used the wrong OLL for that. And t -burn. So yeah, there you go. So I actually do recommend this puzzle. It's very inexpensive. For a beginner keyboard, intermediate keyboard, if you're a fan of the mirror cube, then definitely get this. Honestly, if you don't have any shape mods, the mirror cube is a good place to stay, start off because it doesn't give any false equivalencies. It doesn't really have too much trouble, but you do have super, uh, super cube orientation for the centers. So you have to work your way around that, but it's only two orientations like that because of the grain. So it's a nice starting point. And for this one, it's just really fun. It's an expansion of the concept of it. I really do hope they start mass producing a 4x4 version and a 5x5 version. I know Twisty Text, he makes these. I would definitely recommend checking out his channel. I, he made a 4x4 version. I'm pretty sure he just finished doing a 5x5 version a while ago. And he also has an 11 by 11 version called the Bump Sanity. In fact, JR Cuber actually did a video on that. I'd recommend checking out uh, what they've done. Uh, JR Cuber too, he makes some great videos. So, thank you everyone, and sorry for the ramble. I really should just be, call myself the Rambling Cuber. And anyway, thanks, have a great day, and I hope to be making a couple more videos soon. Uh, I have a 4x4 Master Morphix that I'm going to be making, and the YJ uh, Fisher Cube. Let me know which one you'd like to see first. I'm planning on doing a video a week for the next couple weeks. So, yeah, thank you everyone. Have a great day.